Yes, we got two little wheel light on the table and I got two of the movie headlight over here. And you know, um, today I will start with this washroom headlight with the room effect. As mentioned, it got the uh, similar function as the Martin Mac Aura. You know, uh, actually this light has come out like four or five years, you know. But today I look at this light, it got improved a lot. It, it is much well built than like four years ago, the outside and the uh, cabin. It's much better. Yeah, it's much better. You know, when I first time I look at this light, in four years ago, I don't feel like it. But now I like it very much, actually. I would say. It's really good right now. Let's have a look closer and I'll tell you one by one all the details. When delivering this light, we go with the uh, power cord cable and the MX cable and the safety cable and two pi lock. When I first look at this light, I have to say I like this picture. It's really well built. Yeah, much better. It don't weigh too much. Yeah, with, with really lightweight. And the um, I like it, you know, it is with the mask here, which when the dust go inside the light, this is a really good design. Super good. And let's have a look at the uh, front here. It is with the uh, button, which is up and down, menu, enter and OK. And the LCD display, the error indicator, and the DMS indicator. And also, you know, uh, look at in the back side there is only one DM, only one power cord cable, and the button of the power on and off, and the fuse here, DMS in, DMS out. Okay, let's put on this slide and see how it works. And now I got the DMS controller ready and uh, I've connected like the power cable and the DMS cable. And now I'm going to put on this slide and see. Okay, it's finished on the reset. And you saw there is a DMS indicated expression. That means that it's not connecting with the uh, DMS signal. I'm trying to put on the uh, DMS controller. Yeah. I put on the DMS controller. And the DMS is not pressing right now. So I put the controller off. And you see it's fractured. So that means that uh, if the light is not connected with the DMX signal, it will fracture. The indicator will fracture. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed that when the light is on the side, then there will be a click, click, click. I have saw the light which made by the top run when it is on the side. It's really quiet, super quiet. I could not hear much noise, but this light, you could hear the fan is working and you could hear the click, click, click. But I would say most of the light got this problem. It could be accepted. It's not serious. It's not very serious. You know, I have ever seen some lights that 
with resist problem on the setting is always click 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 but it's one of three click it's normal I would say it's normal but it's not that well let's try again click yeah three click it's not serious it's accept accepted in this price range okay let's check on the menu and see how it is okay let's see this menu again okay and you see here is with the setup the set information advanced the setup is let me check you see the DMS Ajax which set the DMS Ajax and the DMS mode which has the um, 25 yep you saw that 25 mode and the uh, 13 mode all right get back and yeah there is one mode go into it and see there is SOU that means some mode and there is AUT that means the uh, automatic running mode and DMS that means the DMS mode and we check it one by one and see the uh, get back to the DMS mode later and see the pen the pen is the uh, inverse inverse of the pen there is with the on with no and yes yeah with no and yes and say as the uh, tail go back say it's a tail there is also yes and no yep and see display display with the on and check it on enter nothing and yes oh yes when we choose the display into yes the uh, screen change upside down let's see again get it no now it changed back okay i get it yes so the screen changed upside down all right this is really good when you hand the light on the charts so it's it's really convenient for people to see the screen okay let me uh zoom the camera to see the uh DMS mode, running mode, see the running mode. So I uh, get it into sun. Now I zoom the camera. Yep. All right, I get into some mode and the make a little noisy. Yeah, it's not acting. Yeah, obviously some mode is not that sensitive. Yeah, it's not really sensitive. You know, I have, you know, give the, give the palm really hot. So Samo is not really sensitive. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, check out the run mode into auto, AUT, that means the uh, automatic running. Okay, so it's automatic running. All right. Now uh, I get it back into the DMS mode and the uh, move to the pen and choose yes. So the pen works and choose the pen to no. It it inverts again. So say as tail, I choose yes on the tail and no. Yeah, this is how it works. 
All right, uh, I go back to the main menu and see the reset. That's zooming. Put the camera down and boom again. Yep, uh, now you see it go better reset. If I go with the reset and if the light will reset, reset the system, reset, pan reset. Zoom reset, tail reset. All right, I'll try with the pan reset. Yep. Now the pan is on reset. Can I see it? I try it again. All right, I'll try it again. I get the uh, reset, pan reset, enter. So the pan is on reset. And get the uh, tail reset. Tail reset. Enter. Yeah, the tail is on the set. And go with the uh, room reset, and the, you see the room is reset. It's too fast, you cannot see it, try again. Room reset, and the, you see that? Yeah, it move a little back. And, here go up. Yeah, zoom into the camera, into the screen again. All right. All right. Yeah. So here you see there is informations. Yeah. Display. Ah, that you see the um, display board, display PC board with the software version and with the day, with the time, and with the temperature. This is really good with the temperature, you know, uh, normally we could not see many live with, with the temperature setting. Yep, and go back, and with the XY driver, also with the uh, software version, and the day, time, CPU temperature, and the LED temperature. This is really good in the details, you know, um, I didn't see any live with the public model, they do it with the temperature, so the software is getting better and better right now, I have to say. The software is getting better and better right now. So I go back uh, with the advance. There is that need the access code. So the advance is for the uh, updating the program updating the software so we normally don't use it we go back and go back all right so here shows the uh, ch25 that makes it on the uh, 25 channel model and the dm source is okay that means it's connecting with the dms cable so i put the controller off and there shows is no dmx you see that? There shows no DMX here. No DMX here. And put the control on again. And that says DMX okay. DMX okay. And the DMX indicator is not fracturing. So I put it off again. Yeah, you could see the DMX indicator is fracturing and there says no DMX. So this is really good on the details. Super good on the details. And uh, I put it on, put the controller on. So DMX okay, it's no fraction. So this is really good. And you can see the LCD display is uh, power off. 
it save, save the uh, power, you know, when it, the setting is done, so it would automatically power up. This is also really good. All right, let's get the light on the controller and see how it works on the DMX channel. This light has two DMX mode. One is the 14 channel and the other is the 25 channel. I have set this light into the 14 channel mode right now. This light is a copy from the Martin Mac Aura watch light. So it also carries with the aura effect. The floating channel is the normal effect and I'll show you later with the uh, aura effect in the 25 channel mode. I get a menu here and it says that the channel 1 is the stroke. Get channel 1 up and channel 2 is the uh, whole dimmer. Get channel 2 up and I have to get it color up and channel 10 it says is the uh, red so I get the channel 10 up alright yeah it comes to red alright I uh, get the channel 1 down yeah it's stroke alright so stroke from slow to faster yeah it's different stroke, it's not only from slow to fast like you can see from the camera. Yeah. And uh, channel 2 is dimmer, right? Channel 2 is the dimmer. Yeah. You can see it's dimming. Channel 2 is dimmer. And channel 3 is the room. Yeah, you can see it's on room. Okay, I put the color off. I get the color off. Yeah, you can see the brown line. You can see the brown line is moving on room. Get a cut on. Yeah. And channel 4 is the pen moving. Yeah. And channel 5 is the uh, pen 5. Can you see that? It's pen 5. Yeah, I could see it move a little bit here. And channel 6 is the tail. You know, when the light is moving on the pen and tail, I could hear a little bit noise from the motor. But it's not that serious, it's okay, it's because it, it could be accepted, I understand it could be accepted. You know, it, it doesn't matter for the DJ, it doesn't matter for the club, it, is, it doesn't matter for the wedding. And channel 7 is the uh, pay five. Yeah, maybe you cannot see that on the camera, but here what I see is moving a little bit, very little. Very little. But I could not see any change on the camera. And channel 9 is the um, macro color. Channel 9. Oh, I forget the channel 8. The channel 8 it says that the, it's the, uh, the mode of the model. And it says it's this uh, intelligent mode and get into the intelligent mode is from the 70 to uh, 74 and get 70 to 74 Let's check out the screw here. Alright. It's so snuff in the screen. But when I hear that, I could not hear any difference. I could not hear any difference. 
and it says that the 5254 is the uh, low running model, low running model, okay, on the tip. Do what? 22, yeah, I get on 22. I could not hear any difference on the low running mode or the high speedway mode. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I have to say no, there's not much difference. I could not tell that. I could not tell the difference. You know, the noise is the same. Alright, let's go to uh, channel 9. Go to channel 9. Channel 9 is, that's, is the uh, micro color. But I have to put the Put the channel 2 on. Yeah, I have to put channel 2 on. And put the channel 10 up. Get channel 9. Alright. Yeah, it changed colors. It has the uh, color running, the color fading, and the uh, micro colors on channel 9. Alright. Okay, and channel 10 is red, channel 11 is green, channel 12 is the blue, and channel 30 is the white, and channel 14 is the color temperature. Well, this is really good. I have never seen any movie headline in the public model with the color temperature. This is really good. I have to say, yeah, I love this baby. Yeah, the color temperature. All right, this is the base code channel mode on floating channel. Now I'm getting the light into the 25 channel mode, and I will show you how the aura effect it is. Setting, okay. You get the uh, DMS mode on the okay. Select channel four, okay, and go back. Now here says is the uh, CH25, so it means that it has in the uh, 25 channel mode. And I get many here, the channel 1 to channel 40 is the same as the uh, channel 40 mode, but the difference is on the channel 15 to channel 25, it is the uh, alright effect. I'm going to put my Lie down and going to adjust the camera so you can see what exactly is the aura effect. And later we will uh, project the light on the wall and see how it functions on the color mixing. All right. All right. I've got the camera in the right place. And you can see what exactly aura effect is. You know, if you have seen the video from the Martin and see the video on the Mac Aura moving headlight, you will know what it is. But if you don't see that, I will explain to you right now. The aura effect that means that this light got two lighting system. You can see there is a spot, spot, red spot into here, and the red spot. It's fading down. You can see here it comes to red. The red spot is come to bright again. So this is two lighting system. One is the uh, the spotlight. You can see the spotlight, the red one, and the other is the uh, the red light. You can see the red light here when the spotlight is fading down. You can see the entire red light. You can see. Yeah, now you can see this entire rest. So this is two light system on one moving headlight. I'm now going to put up the uh, green into the blue. I 
put off the green. Now you can see the entire red. This is the one of the color system. And I'm going to put on the uh, blue. Right, it's something wrong with my operate. Okay, try again. Oh, get a channel page. Yeah, it's a channel page. It's not scan page. All right. Now you see the uh, blue is getting on. Yeah. See. Okay, I get the red spot. I pull up the red spot. I put up these the red spot line and. And now I get the uh, red on. Get the red on. So this is another color system that you could not see any spot in the light. Alright? I get it green on. Yep, you could not see any spot in the light. This is the, the another lighting system. And I get it blue on. Yeah, get it blue on and get it into white yeah and change another color so this is one of the color system and I put another color system on Add another color system on. Mm. I go with the rack so you could see the rack spot is on. It's not clear in here. Okay, I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to change the angle. And now you can see that it's with the red spot there, and I put the red up. Put the red up. Yeah, the red of the spot is disappear. And put the uh, green on. You can see the green spot. Okay, this is two lighting system. That's what called the aura effect. And I put the blue on. Yeah, you see. The blue on. This is called the aura effect. And there is a, a time setting on the uh, aura effect. It's from the um, channel 17 to. Uh, no, it's from the channel 15 to channel 18. So I've saw it one by one. Alright. It's the tide control. Uh, on the darkness tie control, the brightness tie control, and the uh, the tie from bright to dark, and the tie from the uh, mm, dark bright. So I've checked the uh, twenty five first on the channel twenty five third. On the channel 50, no, I'm going to test the channel 50 first. It says that the tide control on the dark. Yeah. It keep the how long it would keep on the dark. Alright. It's on the 50. Okay, I get 50. 
Yeah, now you see the spot. Okay, I'm going to change the uh, spot into the red. It's easy for you to identify the light. Yeah. So you, you see now the... Uh, Yep, you see, you see the, the, the red light, the red light disappear and appear again. You can see there's no, no, no red light, you know, in the uh, Thai, there is the red spot is disappear and appear again. Can you see that? And you can see there is a, there is a, a tie, how to say, uh, yeah, I can see one, two, one, two, yeah, you can see between the one, two, there is no dot, no, there, there isn't any rack spot there, you see, okay, I'll try again, one, Two. Yes, you know, between one two, you could not see any rest ball in the light. Now I'm putting the uh, channel fitting up. You can see it, it, it changed very fast, you know, the rest ball light off and on again, and, but it changed very fast. So this is the uh, time setting on the dark spot. I don't know how to say that in English, but it's the time setting on control how long it take on the dark spot. Yeah, so I put the uh, trend of the thing up again. So you will see the... One. Two. Yeah, so you can see it takes longer time to till the uh, red spot is appear again. I'm not sure if you can understand what I mean. Yep, now. Yep, it shows up. So the tie between the red spot shows up. It takes longer time. Now I'm putting the thing on again. Yeah, it so it shows up immediately. So this is what I mean. It control the the tie on how long will the Rest pop shows up. Yep. So the uh, channel 16, it says that it's the tie control from dark to bright. So it's a color fading control. It's a color fading control. So now I'm getting the channel 16 up. It's from the dark to bright. Yeah, you can see that the uh, rest bar is showing brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. But it takes longer time. It shows up with brighter, 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 brighter. It takes really longer time. From the dark to brighter, it takes really longer time. And now it fades again. Now I put the uh, 16 channel up. Now you could see that the uh, light emitted going to brightness, all right? Yeah, we'll see again, we'll see again. Yeah, that's right. So the red spot is emitted going to bright. Let's try again. It's going to stay, going to stay into darkness. Yes, you see that it's emitted going to bright. So I put the channel 16 off. You can see that it's going to uh, bright little by little, little by little. Yeah, that's that. You could not see it immediately bright. It's no, it's going to little by little, little by little. Yeah, this is the uh, channel 16. And the channel 17 is the uh, 
Right is maintain time control. So channel 17. I put the uh, channel 17 off. So it's showing to uh, most bright. And I'm going to change the another color system into the uh, into the green into blue. So I did not change. Let's try again. All right, now it goes into the Y. Yep, now it goes into the blue. All right, cool. Okay, go back to uh, channel seven. It says that the bright is maintain time. But I could not see any difference. I'm putting it down because you know in my eyes it's really hard to tell which 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 spot it is the brightest spot. Yep. Again, I pass it and go to the channel 18. It says that is the time from the brightest to uh, dark. All right. I get it off. Get the channel. Eighteen off. So now it's fading. It's fading from the uh, from the brightness to dark. It's fading. Yeah, you can see it is fading. Yeah, and the Getty channel 18 on. And now, yeah, we see it's immediately go down to the dust park. It's very soon, it goes very soon, you know, when it's on the brightness, it's going to the dark. Yeah, you see that? So this is the channel 18. You know, it control the tide from the brightness to dark. It goes very fast. Yeah, you see that. So, uh, if I get the uh, channel 16 on, get the channel 16 on, if you uh, could not see anything, you could see maybe it's a strobe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you see that? It's strobing. You know, this is the uh, first. Lighting system is on strobing. This is the aura effect. All right, all right. You see how it happened, and then get the 16 channel down. All right, and uh, go back to the uh, channel. Channel channel 19. It says it's none. Okay, I get the first lighting system up. I get it red up. Get the rest bar up. Get the rest bar up. And get rest bar up. Yep, yeah, now you see the uh, rest bar is off. This you could not see any spot there. This is the second lighting system. All right. So uh, there is also the uh, dimming on the second last lighting system is on the channel channel uh, twenty one channel twenty one. All right. 
I get the get it wrong, get it wrong. I get it wrong and get the channel setting wrong. Get the page two. So 70, 80, 90, and 20. Yeah, right now it's jobbing, 20 is job. Alright. And the uh, 21 channel is the uh, dimming. Yep, so it goes brighter and goes dark. All right. Yep. And 21 is the micro color. So it changes the color right now, micro color. This is the second color system. Yep. I'm sorry, it depends on the. Uh, Color one system. Okay, I get the color two system off. I get the and get the uh, color one system on. Get it off first. Get it off and get the color one system on. Get the red. So obviously, obviously you, could, you could see this spot there. All right, this is the one color system and green. Yeah. And blue. Yeah, you can see the color system is different. Total two different color system. And get a color one system off and get back to the uh, color two system. Now you see, you could not see any spot there. You could not see any spot there. It's totally different. Right. Yeah. So this is why I said it's two color system, and this is what it is on the aura effect. All right. <clears throat> so the two channel mode, the channel fourteen channel mode is the uh, basis channel. And the uh, 25 channel mode is the aura effect. Okay, let's project the light on the wall and see the color missing. Okay, now I put the light project on the wall. And now what we see is the color of the white. It's white only, you know, because this light is four in one, so it got RGBW. So I'm now putting the W on. So white. I could see the white is really, it's really good. But also I could see there is the, uh, a black spot on the center. You could see on the screen. You could see it in the center of the circle. It's a black spot, so uh, this is not good. I'm not sure if because the distance from the wall to the light is too close, so you could see there is a, a little dark spot there. All right, on the center of the light, I point out. You can see here. Here is the uh, a dark spot. All right. And now I'm getting the uh, red on, get the uh, blue on, and get the green on. And you can see here is the uh, food color of white. And what I see here is with the uh, a little uh, the color is not the pure white, but with a little red and a little blue. 
I'm not sure. I still see the uh, still there is there is the color difference. There is still the color difference on these two side. So I could not say I could not say this light is it's pretty good color mixing. No, I could not say this light is pretty really good color mixing. Let's see um, on the room, let's check the room on the channel 3 check out the room yeah, it's the smallest angle smallest angle and go back to the widest yeah, this widest angle, when you go with the widest angle you can see the color missing is not really perfect the color missing is not really perfect. And the white, the white is not really perfect. You can see other color like a little bit red, a little bit blue on the stand of the of the spot. And still I could hear the fan is a little bit noisy. I will check the um, the dimmer, the dimmer on the channel two. Okay, it goes dark and it goes up a little by little. Yeah, I, I could tell what is intelligent fan right now. You know, when I move the uh, the zoom, I could see the fan is working really, really hard, and the really, you know, seems it's working, running really fast, and sometimes the fan is running slow. So this so called the intelligent fan, but I could hear the noise from it. It's not really quiet. A little fan. You know. Actually, you could hear a little bit noise from the fan. Okay, this is how it works on the color missing. Alright, um, we're going to check the red. And now, yes, it's in the red and the green and blue and the white and go with the food colors. Yeah, we just have overview on this weekend line. It's really good on the aura effect. Yeah, it performs well on the aura effect. But I would say that it's not really good that on the color mixing when it is on the foot power. I could see a little bit dark spot, a little bit red, a little bit blue. It's not serious, but still could see a little bit on the color mixing. Not good. And when it's working, I could hear the fan. It's working a little bit noise. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit noise. But it's okay when you use it on the club, use it on the DJ, use it on the party, use it on the wedding. But it's not very really good when you use this light on the uh, theater, theater or somewhere it requires the choir features. This is not good. But basically, in the price range, I would say this light is really well built and the, um, in general, the performance is okay. 
It just have a little bit not good and the colors and a little bit not good on the fan. All right. So this is the video, and if you want to continue to see more about the information on the trial lightings, just follow my channel. I'm Lucas. And if you got any question, please leave me the uh, comments. I will answer the comments one by one. Thanks for watching.